वेलकम बैक लर्नर्स टुडे वी विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग वन पावरफुल टेक्निक कॉल्ड बैक ट्रैकिंग एल्गोरिदम्स बैक ट्रैकिंग इज अ वर्सटाइल मेथड यूज टू सॉल्व ए वेराइटी ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम पजल्स टू ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टास्क इट इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लोरिंग ऑल पॉसिबल सॉल्यूशंस टू फाइंड द बेस्ट वन मेकिंग इट अ वैल्यूबल टूल इन योर एल्गोरिदमिक टूल किट सो लेट्स डाइव एन बैक ट्रैकिंग इज अ सिस्टमैटिक अप्रोच टू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग It involves incrementally building a solution while considering all possible choices at each step. If a solution turns out to be a valid or reaches a dead end, we backtrack and try other options until we find the correct path or arrive at the best solution. Think of it like exploring a maze, trying different routes until we find the way out. To better understand backtracking, let's tackle a classic example, the n queens problem. In this challenge we must place n queens on an n into n chessboard so that no two queens can attack each other queens can move horizontally vertically and diagonally let's break down the steps start with an empty board placing the first queen in the first row move to the next row and try placing the second queen considering all columns continue placing queens in subsequent rows while ensuring they don't attack each other If a dead end is reached, backtrack and explore other possibilities. Here is a virtual representation of the n queens problem. In this diagram, each q represents a queen placed on the chessboard. The goal is to find a configuration where no two queens are threatening each other either horizontally, vertically or diagonally. Let's see how to implement the n queen problem in JavaScript using backtracking.
the time complexity of backtracking algorithms can be high as they explore all possible solutions in the case of the n queens problem it can be represented as big o factorial n which grows rapidly with increasing n therefore backtracking is best suited for relatively small problem sizes now that you have seen backtracking in action i encourage you to experiment with different problem scenarios practice makes perfect so open up your code editor try different inputs and see the magic of backtracking that concludes our discussion on backtracking algorithms in javascript in our next session we will explore another essential topic in data structures and algorithms until then keep learning keep growing and happy coding